Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary. Today we are talking about static testing, which is one of the type of testing. And static testing is basically defined as an approach of reviewing the work products. Of course, there are several documentation which are created as a part of the software development lifecycle or if you talk specific to the software testing lifecycle, we make sure that we review them before we can make use of them in order to further derive our architectures or design the code or even if you're talking about deriving your test cases. So no matter what your work product or a particular document is, it must be reviewed for any kind of anomalies, inconsistencies contradictions, ambiguities, in order to make sure that the document which you are going to refer is complete in all the manners and does not have any kind of issues so that the defects can be propagated further into the life cycle. So yes, static testing is all about reviewing them and finding defects in the work products statically. That means there is no execution involved. That means you practically do not execute the code or the application. In fact, you don't have the application at that point of time. So you only have the work product with you, which you need to manually review. Or maybe you can take help of tools to review certain architectures like control flow graphs or, you know, you have your call graphs, uh, data flow diagrams, anything. So yes, but make sure one thing that when it comes to static testing, we do not have any execution involved. So what happens to the code review? Code review just deals with static so scenario runs or dry runs, which will definitely help you to find static uh, defects in the code. So yes, you don't, don't really execute the pra code practically. So if you talk about one of the examples is compiler. Compiler verifies making sure that everything is meeting as per the syntax or standards and does meet all the expectations of the programming. So yeah, that is what we wanted to understand from static testing in very quick and simple way. So that's all from this particular episode theme. Should you have any other words with you, feel free to comment below. I'll be definitely helping you to understand that better. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.